Tribe, Tiana T. Yeah, that's me, and I'm back at it again with a reaction video. If you can't tell, I got a new camera. I got a real camera, so my quality should be like increased a little bit. And if it's not, you freaking lying. Anyway, let's get into it. I reacted to Queen. Now I'm gonna go see what Clarence gotta say because they said that Clarence cleared up some more things that Cl that Queen didn't address. So let's see what Clarence gotta say, and I'm gonna try to keep it to where. I'm here mainly Clarence's thoughts because this is a long ass video and I feel like my videos already be like 50 minutes long It's a whole lot to be like trying to like absorb so I'm gonna try to cut it down as much as possible but still keep the content so without further ado let's get into it What's up queendom? It's your girl queen. I'm back with another video okay, I'm sure from the title you can already tell we can hear you. it's gonna be a story time or something of that sort So first of all it's been a, a lot going on, a lot going on. I've been getting ready to drop my album. Um, it has been a lot going on. on that it's, it's a very big moment it's been a lot going in my on. life. With Lord um, Bad Fits and It's my debut album, everything. Like, it's my dream. Like this is, I just want to put my full focus on it, you know? Um, and I just want to tell, I just want you to know that we are very much focused on this album. You know what I'm saying? And I'm pretty and good. I'm Don't let my stop y'all show. I'm very focused on this album. I have people writing me, telling me, stop entertaining that. Stop doing that. It's like, let's focus on Queen album. You guys got to remember that I have a job. They can too. multitask. You feel me? Um, and my one of my first jobs is to always protect my family. So I don't need anybody telling me to protect anybody. I got this. You know what I'm saying? But I still have a job to do. You know what I'm saying? I still have bills to pay. And we're going to get this. Like chicken. all y'all do. Because yeah, all y'all bring up the chick on each other. This reaction channel is for. And so I've been busy with that. But as you guys know, there's been some other things going on as well um, on the internet. And if you know, you know. Um, I think we all know. Make a video or say anything. But truthfully, if I ever came back to my channel or when I came back to. Get your bag, sis. My channel. I wanted to just come refresh I agree. and we all try and do it. That like every time I come and do a video, I'm always like, it's always something about some drama. But I always feel the need to like just tell my side of things, just because when you don't, when you don't explain your side of the story to a situation, you give people more room to make assumptions. That That's what I just told you. Y'all know it's been a, a whole situation um, um with the exes going on and <laughs> i've seen the very last video clarence get your shit together you got so much and noise i'm gonna keep it 100 percent real with you guys i felt bad i really did i didn't feel bad because i'm guilty of anything that she was insinuating let's see what clarence gotta say about this because like she is a miss First of all, that's just how my heart is set up. Like, I, I, I don't know. Like, I'm just super, super nice. And it's clear. It's focus on the like, video because he got a whole lot extra going on. I can feel it. Like, I, I could feel, you know, where she was coming from. And I've been in a place like that before where, you know, I was heartbroken. Clarence. Like, you know, something like that. I don't know if she, she's still heartbroken, what? but I, I don't know. But I, I just feel like I wanted to come here and just basically give you guys my point of view of things because... I feel like, in a way, my character could be misinterpreted or misconstrued. And I have a brand. I'm a singer, and, and I don't want to be looked at as, like, that kind of person that uh, maliciously just does things to people. Um, and I also have a family brand. I have a family brand. I have two kids. You know, we got the Royal Family Channel, and I think it's, I have every right to come and clear my name as well. Just like everybody. like you're going to say something right there. I need you guys to understand the place I was in when I first ever spoke to Clarence at all. Um, it's been said a lot and continuously that I cheated um, and I was doing something sneaky. But truthfully, you guys, of course, I was legally still in a marriage. But it was a situation where, like, my ex... Chris was already, he had already been moving single, like a single man, for the longest. And you guys know that if you follow You gonna say story, something about that, clear? That after the situation that happened with um, the three girls who came and exposed him for that whole situation, after that, I even, like, stayed and stuck around. 
Hopefully, what Clarence got going on? I, I stuck Clarence just woke up and tried to do a video because he had too much going on right now. I just didn't. The burping and the phone like, and the turning. It was just so much going on where it made it very hard for me to leave. And plus, you know, we had a son. We had a son. Um, so. Put my leg up on it. It wasn't like in a, a, it's gonna be a wow. kind of way. But I was in ATL, and this was during Hurricane Harvey. We had went to we had went to Atlanta to escape the hurricane. And um, Chris and me, we wasn't even like really together. We probably did like maybe one video as a group um, when we was like in the house with Janae. Like, we wasn't really together. When we went to Atlanta. He was doing his own thing, and I know I knew Claire Bear. He was doing his own thing. Um, Don't you know you're filming? You, you got some. You got me. stuff to address right now. Once someone is disloyal, they move. Well, I'm doing a video. Bro. They move funny. They talk to different people, and like they're doing it blatantly, where you you know it, and they don't care. It's like at this point. So anyway, when I messaged Clarence, I, I didn't have no intentions or no like I wasn't plotting. Someone like, birthday yeah, coming up. I'm about to message him, and then I'm gonna go see him. And, you guys, truthfully, I had, I think I was scrolling. I seen Clarence on my Explore page, and I had seen him before. I clicked on his page, and it was his page. And I was like, oh, this is really his page. And I was just scrolling through, and of course, you know, I thought he was a handsome guy. Because um, I had seen him before, and I always thought he was Like he don't know that. Um, but I didn't see no girl on his page. You know, I I didn't see no girl on his page. So when I DM'd him, it was just kind of, it was like kind of like one of those things where, I don't know. Hey, let me just let me just DM this person and see see what's up. Like, not in a way to like be sneaky or like, ooh, like, I'm about to, you know, I don't know. I don't know. Honestly, truth be told, I don't know why I did it. I think I think part of the reason was just because I was just maybe just already feeling needing down a friend low and just I don't know. I wanted to converse with someone else. It wasn't like flirtatious or anything it was really just talking about what was going on with us me like you know what i'm saying like he said it was getting crazy for him and i was like what is it and i said shit it's getting crazy for me too and when he asked i told him what was going on i don't know like it was already public it was already public what was going on so i was like forget it and i all had no idea what was going on nigga i didn't have no idea nigga that's why i asked in the thing if i knew them and i watched them i would have known what they was going through he got he put a little bass in his voice with that one. He got real snappy. Which is kind of bad sometimes. I can talk to a stranger and literally when they leave, they know so much about me. And I know that's so bad. So so I want you guys to know that I didn't do that to, I don't know, get him to feel bad for me or just try to like, I don't know. I, do, I did that with everybody. Truth yeah, he queen's a girl, open whatever. When I was like, you know, you should start YouTube and if you got a girl, you can prank her. And when he told me he had someone, I didn't like try to say, oh, well, actually I was like, yo, well, why isn't she on your page? Like, Girls love that. You should put it on your page, like, so people can know. So, um. That's a fact. She did say that. You seen also right there. It and it's a fact because he pulled it with the receipts. Um, and it was complicated with me, too. So, you know, it didn't go no further. Anywho, though, I followed him. And around that same time when I followed him, I remember getting a call from Chris. And Chris was like, why you follow him? Like, and I was just like, what? Like, first of all, why are you even calling me, checking me? Because you're doing what you're doing. Like, you have no, you have no. Mm, so that changes it. You said you didn't know about anything about me. You knew. My boy Bad Fitz knew. He knew about me. Clarence been hitting this whole time. Room to of course ask he knew me about what Claire. I'm doing, who I'm following or anything. You're moving like the way you want to move. I'm gonna move how I want to move. And Chris still felt intimidated, I feel like, because he's seen how he looks. He he knew, like... I'm not gonna lie, bro. I don't get into the whole cocky thing, but, bro, before, you knew how I was, bro. Come on, there wasn't a lot of people. You know what I mean? I know I wasn't lit, lit, but I was going viral every second. You know what I'm saying? And most likely, if you had a girl, you knew who I was. Stop the cap. I don't know about that because I'm your Instagram somewhat heavy here and there, but I never ran across Clarence. I ran across Queen, Queen and Chris, but I ain't never ran across Claire. So that ain't too factual, but I guess in that area, maybe so. Even like mentioned him to Chris before because we was. Lord Badfit. 
that's what I was like, just kind of vocal about. We did smash the past it together, you know. So like, I knew what who he found attractive, and he knew who I found attractive. I, I told him he was like, no, nah, no, nah, fuck that, da da da. Unfollowed him. Even though I didn't feel like I needed to do that, I just unfollowed him. I guess to keep the peace because when it when it got crazy with me, and him it got crazy, and it's a lot of things that you guys. You gonna elaborate on that, Claire? Those doors. It get, it got crazy. Okay. I'm not going to say anything, but it got super crazy. I didn't want no trouble, like, when we got back to the same house. When she said things got crazy, I'm pretty sure y'all know what, I, what what she's talking about. You know what I'm saying? And this is when we, we, we me and her, try to be mature because, like, you know? But you guys know what yeah, we're talking about. I don't know. I didn't think it's it's very hurtful. Says, I just, like, no, we don't know what you're talking about. Because I think he's talking about that he probably put his hands on her. Or he probably was like abusing her in ways that we aren't aware of so no clarence we don't know what y'all talk about if one of y'all can elaborate and let us know spill the tea like be very specific what you talking about then we'll know because right now we still kind of like filling in the blanks we wasn't having sex we wasn't sleeping together in the same bed he was going out every night he was doing what he wanted to he was sleeping with other girls it was just kind of like we was kind of like roommates you know what I'm saying? And I knew, I knew for a fact our relationship was over. He wasn't happy with me. He didn't look so like, ironic. he didn't want to be with me, you know? Um, but I was still just, we was kind of just still there just playing like, I was just kind of playing like I was okay with it. Cause like, it was nothing else I could really Side do. note, Clarence looked really um, good in that color. Know, it really fits his skin, make him stand out. Um, Especially from James. It's really I good. It's really good option for him. YouTube and I seen that Clarence I did a smash the past video. And when I went and watched the video, I seen him and um my doing a smash the past and I and I didn't even know that my name was in there. I was like, yo, what? Like and then what he said, I was like, hold on, wait a minute. Like I got a little offended, I ain't gonna lie. Um <laughs> genuinely <laughs> amused. So I went to look for him on Instagram so and I found pretty. out I seen that like I couldn't find him, so I went to my block oh. list like, yo, did I block him? Mother, after this girl, I'm about to go upstairs. Do do some I'm like, okay, I ain't block him, I know who did it. So, so she did this I video today. That's how she looked right now. You know what I mean? And I was like, um, I, I said her makeup looked pretty in the last video. It really do look good. She looked nice and glowy. Whatever. And then she looked healthy. He was like he he started talking back to me. And I was like, yo, um, what you said? I, I was basically telling him about what he said in the video. Like that was that was funny. Like Frank Red Frank's Red Hot. Oh, I'm not sweet. He, you know, like just kind of, I don't know, picking at him about what he said. Obviously, at this point, Clarence is gonna irritate my soul with that phone. On a bunch of girls. I did. I, I just refused to do another video on it, but my point exactly. Just you could tell how I was moving and what I was doing that you could tell that I was single. I don't want to throw other people's relationships out there, but there was pub. There's public record out there that I was messing with girls before Queen. I was messing with girls before Queen. It's out there. It's probably on YouTube. People know about it. Like, I know about it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Maybe not if you follow me now, but if you follow me before, you know what I'm saying? I'm not about to bring it up because people, you know what I'm saying? Everybody older in relationships, like, it should just stay like that. But I was speaking to girls before Queen. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I don't get why the attention goes to Queen. You know what I'm saying? Girls. I didn't know that. I didn't know he's doing with other girls. I mean, we suspected it. I know, like, she was just talking, like, her one video. I know she was saying, oh, I'm pretty sure everybody, other people that had this, his, like, penis and had him before, but they ain't make it this far, so I must be, do I must be doing something right. But I didn't know he was out there, like, wilding. And if he was out there wilding, and Leslie knew that, exactly, why is the attention on Queen? Why are you mad at Queen? Also, what's brought to my attention is Jeremiah was talking to Aaliyah J. Aaliyah J has status. Aaliyah J had probably way more status at the time than Queen. So, why are you jumping on Queen when all your other niggas then dealt with other girls before too? But you mad at Queen. You mad at Queen for getting pregnant. Makes no sense. Man, so from that point, like I said, I never had seen who he was with ever before. Never seen a picture of or anything. He said he was single. I felt like I was like, I... Nigga, my relationship was over, so I was like, oh, okay, you know. So we started talking. Mm -hmm. Now, when we started talking well, on... Let me go back a little bit, like, y'all. That, that whole, like, chat Like I said, I never had seen who he was with ever. 
I liked the Lord his video for Clarence, about what he said. Turn the distractions off and point, give us a video. If he's doing a smasher pass on a bunch of girls, including me, I still didn't see no girl on his page. Like, from this... At, wait, wait a minute. Actually, I, I think I watched some more of his videos. Yeah, that's right. I watched some more of his videos. Okay, he's he's he me he, like, that he was a single man. He was doing a Q&A, he was like, he's a single man. So from that point, like I said, I never had seen who he was with ever before, never seen a picture of or anything. He said he was single. I felt like I, like, I... Nigga, my relationship was over, so I was like, oh, okay, you know. So we started talking. We got a little deeper. We started talking about things that we were going through and like our past. Like I had mentioned to him, like what I was going through in my relationship. He had mentioned to me about, he was talking about how he was going through like a toxic kind of situation on and off. And like, we was at that point, we were talking, we were like confiding each other's friends. We never spoke about sex. We never spoke about anything. And when she means toxic, if she's getting that from me, I'm calling what a, what I was in toxic and I'm that's not us pointing fingers or anything as saying that my ex is the one that's toxic. It was just a toxic together. I'm not there's no I'm not I'm not even trying to make myself sound innocent or nothing. Like you know what I'm saying? I I probably had a lot to do with that toxicity, you know what I'm saying? But it, it was just a mixture of things, you know what I'm saying? And people can drive you to the point of toxicity and also recklessness and just nonchalantness. People can irritate you so bad that you just want to go out and do like bad shit. You be like, hey, since you think I'm doing, I'm going to go ahead and do that. They ain't mature. But I can see where he's coming from. It's kind of like, a, you give me hell, let me just go give. You, let me just go live that shit out. If I'm going to get like yelled at it for anyway, that's nigga logic. That's not female logic, but niggas be thinking like that. It went from us talking about that to really like just Falling asleep on the phones every single night. That's another thing I want you guys to know. I didn't just up and fly to New York. Like, oh, yeah, I'm about to see you. Me and Clarence <laughs> was talking on the phone, falling asleep on FaceTime every night for a good, for a good, like, I don't know, month and a half. For a while, guys. So if I'm able to talk to Queen for a month and a half, Spending in, like, I mean, I'm talking about, like, I wake up, my phone is dead, or I wake up and Queen is still snoring on the phone type shit. I couldn't have been with somebody. That's so just, there's no way. That's just there's 100% no facts. Way. You know what I'm saying? It's clear that she would have, my ex wouldn't have had that. No ex, no side piece, no nothing. You feel me? And during that time when I was talking to Queen, I remember going to Miami. You feel me? I was in Miami. Did everybody remember that? I was in Miami. I was chilling out there. You know what I'm saying? Doing videos and doing vlogging. You know what I'm saying? One of my first vlogs. Everybody knows that. I was doing, I was living in Miami. Queen knows that. Queen was just telling me, oh, I don't try, don't have too much fun, you know what I'm saying? And I'm like, I'm like, yo, know, I'm telling her, like, you feel me? Like, she know, she knows things that I was doing out there. I'm having fun. You know what I'm saying? I'm a good looking man. I was young. I was in a relationship for four or five years. I was doing my thing. As you should, you know, go out there and get wild. You ain't been a wild man in a minute. Like, it made us like, you know, feel for each other a little bit more. I could tell. I could tell. I did. I did. He feel. would he would tell me how he felt like, you know, how he felt different about me and things like that. I would tell him the same. So we started developing like a liking for each other and possibly feelings. She came with that. About doing Obviously, videos. feelings. We spoke about doing a video together because we felt like it would be a a good money move for one. We already had like. Fan pages of people collaging our pictures together. Um, it was I was crazy. all for it. I was like, like, yes, queen, move on. Like, he look good. I ship y'all, I ship y'all, I ship y'all. So I was thinking in my head, you know, this is great for I was like, whoop, 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 go for it. To get my money up, you know? Um, I have money with the Chris and Queen channel, but I don't consider that to be my money because when I left, I couldn't even have half of that. 
Like, I, he, wouldn't, he wasn't even giving me half of, of it. And I didn't care at the point because I was just like, listen, I don't want no money or anything. I just really want to be done with this relationship, with this whole thing. Because it, it was draining. Like, talk about draining for years. You know, of course, I smiled on camera. We did what we did for our brand. But that shit was draining, though. And it was a lot, like I said, that happened behind closed Confirmed that she didn't receive anything, guys. She didn't receive money. So she, she was dead broke. Cash. It's documented that the car was taken, right? Car was uh, the, the the little Jeep that was uh, in the thing or in Houston got taken. He put that all on video. <laughs> Those doors that you guys what an asshole. Um, so yeah, I was like, yeah, this is a money move. Maybe I, I come out there and like we, we do some video. First time I went out there, I went with Ari. <laughs> And Vache and some other girl. It's a video on Clarence Page. Go I check that out. I see Ari in the video. Like, I know, like, we didn't talk on the phone, but I was still scared. It was New York. I didn't want to go by myself. But I still made plans to, uh, you know, go see him for the first time in person. And we seen each other. We didn't do a video that time, but we did see each other. I went back home. I mean, I went back to Houston. I was living with Armand and Trey by this time. I was working on my videos because I was just trying to get my bag up. Listen, I was trying to leave. I was trying to get my own apartment. I was going to get my apartment. She has some motivation. Me and Ari was talking about moving in together. Yeah, I remember um, she was telling me that. When I went back to New York the second time, we chose to do our first video together. I had met his sister, Lee, who had helped me out with a situation... Um, with medicine, because I had released medicine on YouTube, which Clarence also encouraged me that I should release it on on New Year's because he was just like, you know, you should just go to ahead. To New Year. Like, to New Year. I was basically telling him, like, you know, this is a new queen. You about to step into something. This is like a new beginning for you. And I was like, yeah, but I, I was scared. Cause I knew once I released medicine, y'all, I could never go back to Chris. People going to say, I told you so. Um... Uh, and these are one of the reasons why, Chris, my advice to be to you is to, I don't know why you do the things you do, because you know people are holding a lot of your skeletons in the closet. And I think you should be nicer to people. You know what I mean? Not even nicer, but just like, you know? Um, and I just, I just didn't want to. So when people started asking, like, why aren't you doing a video for Chris no more? Like, why are you at Trey Armand's house? We got to the point where now Queen has to do a video. And now her side of the story is gonna, you know. Like, I don't want to say it because I thought we make up really look so good. Dumb. Like, damn, I really stayed. I was dumb. Like, so I'm a little envious. I want to know what kind of foundation she used. All that, like, anyway, she looked really good. He encouraged me to release it. New Year's, da, da, da. I released it. That happened. Somebody stole my. Still like lip fillers, but she looked good. Get money for it. Yeah, it was getting paid so for. So I met Lee. Lee was a businesswoman, um, and she helped me out. Little. Queen made zero dollars off of, off of the, 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 um, the medicine. Not until the business was, like, Lee helped with the business and got her in touch with the right people and got in touch with the right people to figure that out. She made zero dollars. Actually, her Ooh. own song on YouTube got copyrighted from the guy that fake made it. That, that posted it. And the guy that posted it is the person that did the beat, too. That's what's crazy. That guy, his name is something. The guy that did that medicine beat, that kid, he's a, he's a snake, bro. He's a snake. You know what I'm saying? He's trying, trying to get crazy, he's getting crazy chicken. Y'all know how viral that song went. Out. Like, she helped me out she a lot. She was a hit. We started talking business. I still bumped that. And I was like, yo, could you go through my emails? You know, I, I don't go through my emails or anything like that. I don't know about labels. And she, she, uh, she used to be a manager of, uh, back in the day of Nappy Root. So, like, she had some experience in that. Um. Queen was actually in New York and found a manager. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It was a guy. And this is some, some, some of the times, this is one of the reasons why I feel like I'm the way I am with Queen, too. Like, I'm, I'm sometimes, like, just, I be trying to protect her, but, you know, not, you know, just because, like, in the beginning, we're just friends, you know what I'm saying? And while we're chilling, she's going places. She's getting things done. While I'm getting things done, it's not like we're there all day. To, like, we do videos, then she's going to do the photo shoot and meet with her manager and team and everything. And this, and there'll come a time where I'm like, 
yo, who is your manager? Like, I'm not even thinking about making my sister a manager. I'm never even thinking that. That never even came up. I, but I'm like, yo, who's your manager? I and did think I he kind of slid that up in there. So I'm glad I'm it cleared this up. I'm very good at reading people. I'm very good at reading people. And that man did not know what he was doing, what he was talking about. He'd never been a manager before. And he was going to take advantage of Queen for sure. And not only that, he was also attracted to Queen, which also is, you know what I'm saying? So that's problematic. That wasn't, wasn't going to be a bad, wasn't going to be a good move. You know what I'm saying? Creepy dude, creepy looking dude. Like he, she was creeped out from him. You know what I'm saying? Like you shouldn't be creeped out from your manager. But what, well, like, I did not know I'm that. Like, nah, you can't do that. And then, like, I'm like, yo, maybe we could help you know what i mean or maybe find just hope to find you a manager you know what i'm saying lee my older sister has been my problem solver since a little kid you know what i'm saying when there's some, when you have a problem we call lee and my family you know what i'm saying so i kept extending my that makes sense because you know this whole time when they kept saying that um lee really didn't want to be her manager because i i think lee probably wasn't managing at the time so lee was probably just like Oh no, I'm good. Like I help you out, but like I'm good. You know, Queen was like, I trust you since you helped me like this. I do want you to be my manager. That makes sense. I ain't I ain't never seen like that. Cause I did think like, you know, he got put on because you know they was doing collabs and stuff. So he kinda like, well, I'm gonna put my sister on and shoot Patty with me. Patty gonna be on. So I ain't gonna lie, at one point I did think that. New York trip when I was out there. That's a fact. I kept extending it because I don't know. It just felt so good to be there. I felt so free. I had a friend out there that, like, he, I really still consider him my friend. Even if I had had a crush on him or liked him, I still consider him my friend. It, like, That's a fact. Him. I didn't care because we were not committed to each other. That's a fact. Actually, when Queen got out here, I still bother her to this day because she was chilling with some Queens niggas. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I still bother her to this day. She chilled with some Queens niggas. You know what I'm saying? But she ain't talked to none of them because she was, you know, you know. She was eyeing your boy. One. You know what I'm saying? There's only one. But I bother, you know what I'm saying? So we was genuinely just friends. You know what I'm saying? I did not care. She knew girls that I was talking to, too. That try to force him, like, she would say they're pretty. What are we doing? Like, and all talking? of that. Like, I wasn't like that. Like, and I feel like that's why he was super cool with me, too, because I was not forceful on him. I never forced anything. But I do feel like. The more and more we got to know each other and, and be together, you know, he felt my vibe. He got to know me more. He looked at me as a different person. I, I wasn't the girl that he seen um, on the Smash the Pass challenge. He, he said I had a bad outfit or whatever, but whatever. Also, the camera don't do me justice. This camera not do me justice. It's I was doing you justice like, right now. Thank you. So what, she, what she looking at? Like, he was feeling my vibe. Just be tripping. I'm feeling your vibe, shorty. I I was feeling his vibe and we just like we still was keeping it like we still was friends you know um, that little look no y'all win <laughs> friends with feelings building so when i finally signed the divorce pace the divorce when i finally signed the divorce papers um with chris I that little look what he did he looked just like legend i mean legend looked just like him oh my goodness seeing him i'm not gonna lie i sat in the car and i cried <laughs> And Lee's right there next to me. I did. I cried because, like, facts. Long video. It's not that I. It's, it's not that I like wanted to be with him. It was also like a feeling of like, damn, five years down the drain, you know. But I know I knew for a fact I didn't want to go back because it was so unhealthy and it was so toxic. Yo, I. I just I don't know. It's making me a little like cause I just remember when I, I I first met Queen. She was just such a timid timid soul. Mom. I use the same such word. And, and I really honestly, genuinely, cause I just have a huge heart. You know what I'm saying? I get that from my dad. You know what I'm saying? Um. Yeah, I get my huge heart from my dad. You know what I'm saying? Free my pops. You heard? Um. I get that from him and. It's like, I seen her broken, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just seen her, I seen that she wanted a friend. I seen that she wanted just some love, you know what I'm saying? Not even like, on some like, love, like just wants a friend that loves or someone just that just cares, man, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm talking about like, and I know she has her family and stuff and, and, and that, but like, she was like alone, man, you know? She was alone. 
Like there was just no one sticking up for her. There was no one protecting her. There was no one, you know what I mean? And and I, I don't know, I've always been like, just, I hate bullies, you know what I'm saying? I feel like it's another reason why me and my is just so close, you know what I'm saying? I don't like when people just try and like, I don't know, take advantage of people is all. You know what I'm saying? I would never take advantage of anybody, you know what I'm saying? Uh, purposely, knowingly, I just wouldn't. See, I love how every day he be saying, well, they be saying just be lining up. Because I remember in his birthday video that I remember Ma was saying, when people wasn't claiming me as friends, when people was like doing me like wrong, like you stay solid, like you you claimed me as a friend, like you was my friend to the end, like still to this day, like you never like folded. Ma said that, so see, Clarence shit just be adding up. Clarence is like the same with Ma. People was doing him dirty. I can see people doing Ma dirty for no reason. Ma is a good person. Ma cool. I remember when Ma first came out, it was like really like kind of dogging him saying, that's Clarence's friend. Like, yeah, that's Clarence's friend. And they really good friends. All that matters. And it only broke me down the more and more I stayed. Queen, could, Queen thought she would never find somebody because how she looked and how her belly looked. Her belly was a huge thing. That's why when she wanted to have surgery, I said, go ahead, you could do that. Cause I know that's something that's bothered you even way before, you know? I'm acting like and Clarence you know, with no patience. Thing, and I, I, I think that, I think there's a reason why Queen, like, I think Queen really cared for me after this too. And you guys could, you guys probably think I'm an asshole or, or whatever, but the first time me and Queen had sex, I believe, you know what's the first thing? I, I remember did? this story. Oh shit. I kissed her stomach. <laughs> that was the first thing I did. Cause I knew her mm -hmm. just laying there covering her stomach, thinking that I'ma care or I'ma or I'ma make fun of her, you know, like I'm a hypocrite. I was dog clearance for this. Look at me. Like I'm not a shallow person. You know what I'm saying? I thought she was beautiful, you know what I'm saying? But you had a kid. So what? I'm saying so what? Physically, emotionally. That's a man. Mentally, it broke me down. Broke, I used to be like that. I had uh, developed stretch marks. Because, you know, I was always, like, thin from sports. I had developed, like, like tiger-looking scratches kind of stretch marks on, like, my hips. And I was a mess for, like, two years. I was just like, oh, my God. I was looking up every little thing to get them stretch marks gone. But, you know, they go away eventually. But, like, niggas was feeling the tiger stripes. I don't know why, but I was like... What the fuck is wrong with y'all, but... I remember just going to reach for something and Queen would flinch. No cap. Thank you for bringing this up again, Clarence. No cap. Um, and I'm sure you guys that know used to... by just in my... That's confirmation to me that Chris did put his hands on her. And I wish they would just come out and directly say it, but like... That's confirmation. Chris put his hands on Queen, but Queen saved his ass. Queen spared his ass, and he be acting damn fool. So I'm saying, oh, she's not giving me my son. She could end your whole life, boy. She used to hurt me, Ma. I used to get mad at her when she do that. Like, was, I would never, like, stop that. You feel me? She wanted to make me feel good. I wanted to make him feel good. I wanted to make him feel good. From what I was told, that was a very toxic situation for him as well. It was, man. You know? Very unhealthy. I was in a dark, good, dark place. Like, you can't just get over someone that you love for five years. I totally get that. But at the same time... And then, then, then again, that's why I wrote her that day on her birthday, Leslie, on the live. Because Queen knew, and we had those conversations, and she knew what she meant to me at that time. time us bonding and confiding and she understood. Made us kind of and closer, even supported you know? me. Oh. Um, obviously, we did things. I got pregnant. I didn't plan to get pregnant. Um, I don't check my ovulation. I never did that. I don't know. I just never did that because one. Okay, I didn't know girls did that here. I had a super bad miscarriage. I thought he was going to say more than that. Terrible miscarriage, y'all. I lost so much blood, I thought I was going to die. I thought that something was wrong with me. I thought, like, maybe, okay, maybe I can't, maybe I can't have kids. And the only reason why I thought that was because even when I got pregnant with CJ, I was having unprotected sex for a very long oh, time. It took me a while to get pregnant. Truthfully, before CJ, 
weeks before the market crashed. The Senate received a class. It's gonna be a long video, yeah. Queen made this a very long video. Why he didn't cut out the ads? Millions Why he let these shits play? Oh, I mean, the he got he got let Queen get her coins. Okay, non be bussing. They do be bussing. He could cut this out. I can't confirm if it was a miscarriage or not, but I remember one day feeling the pain so deep, I lost so much blood, and I don't know what it came from. Is she I trying to skip this part? Like, like that is rude, been. Clarence. And then I was having unprotected sex more. I got pregnant with CJ after two years. Had complications with CJ. Me and CJ could have died. CJ's heart rate was going down. My heart, like, it was just like, I didn't know. So I was like, mm, I'm scared to have kids. I had to have a C-section with him. Then, in my marriage, you know, I was still doing things and I never got pregnant. I was like, okay, maybe I just can't, I don't know, maybe just, I, I don't know. Then I got pregnant. I had a miscarriage. Okay, so I'm thinking my, oh, kids, I don't get like, my body's just rejecting yeah. kids. Like, maybe CJ was just my She good. Kid. She ain't no Leslie. And the crazy thing is, I, when I had that miscarriage, bro, something in me told me it just wasn't meant. It's so crazy because I don't need, I, I seen a video, of, like last year, I seen a video of me saying something about the name Legend. I seen a Facebook post of me saying, man, I just keep seeing the name Legend everywhere. And my boy like, synchronicity it's crazy. It's like I was like manifesting it. Or I was just like, I seen signs. I lost the baby, but I was still seeing the name Legend everywhere. It was so weird, you guys. Um, and then fast forward, I meet Clarence and I get pregnant. I did not think I was gonna get pregnant. Truthfully, I didn't think Clarence Clarence thought. Clarence was telling me he thought he was so good in March. I thought, honestly, guys, I, I, I thought I, I thought too, honestly. I, I thought. If only and. But why? I really did think. But why? He had never had a pregnancy <coughs> with any girl. With any girl. It's not so on my end. I'm like, okay, well, shoot, we, we fine. I, I went raw, I went raw puppy a few times. I never got pregnant, so I was like, oh, okay. That was our business, so we wasn't going to tell nobody that. Like, of course, people probably read it. Leslie better comment on that part, Thompson. He went raw on a couple other girls because Queen ain't the only one who could have got pregnant. But here you are, dissing Queen. I hope you mad at Clarence now. I hope you know now Clarence is the culprit. Clarence is the one you should be angry at. Because he could have got bitches pregnant a long time ago. And you'd have been sick. You'd have been sicker because they on your same level. Queen not even on your level. I see why you mad, but still. And seen it, but by that time, Clarence was a single man. We were not committed to each other. We still had a very close friendship, but just doing grown people things. I don't know what happened on the other side of that, but all I know is like I was very understanding. I never did anything to her, I would never do anything just to hurt another woman. If anything, I was just going off of what I felt. I couldn't help my feelings. And me and Clarence, we, we I think we told a story on Why did Clarence be doing that with the, uh, each other. It was, with the time? It like, was is she gonna skip or not? Like, he even felt crazy saying it because he was just like, he was just like, man, this is so crazy. I was just in a, a whole five year relationship, but it feels like I've known you like so, like so long, you know? Like, it feels like, I don't know why I feel like I love you, like, and I felt the same. I was like, Clarence, I feel like I love you too. <laughs> it's, it just happened. Nobody even meant for that to happen. You know what I'm saying? Like, word. I was I was gonna try to collab with other YouTubers and shit. Like, yeah, Queen was my first and last collab. Like, <laughs> <laughs> that's cute. Though, like, when you keep hanging with people, like, I don't know. I just truth truth be told, I thought we were gonna do our video. Do some more videos, get a bag. Yeah, I'm a little confused. What door is that in the back? Like, I know this is my room, but what door is that? Is that, a door on that side of the... That like a window, not a door. On that side of the wall? Nigga, no. You know? That's that a window. And they kind of like fade away. That's what I really thought, but it turned out to be different. It turned out to be Maybe different. it's a door. And I don't I live really there. I really cannot help that. And I really would never... It's not in me to 
be like, yeah, I'm gonna I'm take, I'm going I wasn't even thinking about his ex. Anything that was said before, um, I don't know, by his mom or whatever, she didn't know me. So I get it. I completely get it. She didn't know me at all. And I was yeah, like, please clear this up, Claire. She already, she probably like, yo, who is this? Yeah, about my mom thing. That was t I feel like that was very petty for Leslie to say because there was a point where I was with my girl, the girl I was with before Leslie. My mom ain't like you. My mom ain't like you, and you know that. But years of, you know, and time. Well, Leslie, and you're not I'm credible. Not think anybody's good for me, except for Queen. Now she sees how Queen loves me and and how she treats my son and her son you know what i'm saying like that's like you know like i think that was very petty to say because my, my mom really cared for you at a point my mom was actually more of a mom to you than than a lot of family members in your life like my mom was i 100 percent think that's true because the way her mom be letting her go outside on the internet like that sometimes i ain't like how they was acting did you like how your daughter was acting and crying on the internet? Throwing lies? Trying to just like get back at Queen? Like, did you like that? Because that's one thing you shouldn't like if you're gonna like not like something. But I believe that though. Cause I know Clarence's mom for sure would be like, don't you cry on the internet. Don't you post that. Like, that's not gonna be a good look for you. I'm pretty sure his mom would have said that cause she seemed like a blunt woman. So I feel it. Like, that really was petty. That really was a low blow. And if you thought you could have a friendship later, see her in a store and be like, hey, what's up, so and so? Dead. Was very close to my mom. He was. Also, most moms don't like the girl that they bring in because that's her baby. Like, she, like he's always been like the apple of her eye. No, the mom has always been like the queen in the in the boy's eyes. So, like, of course, the mom not gonna like it. It's kind of like a, this is my baby. You better come in here with some respect. I need to get to know you before I kind of trust you. Trust you with my child, like the one I love, the one I know I got. Care for you. Do you got him like I got him? That makes sense. Can't believe he did that. Lady come in, you know what I'm saying? She already knew his ex for five years, so they probably had a relationship. They and did. I understand that. You know, that's completely normal. I guess that. That's regular, that's regular woman stuff, though. You know what I'm saying? But as a man, you know what a real man do? You know what I'm saying? I told my mom, you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to love, you're gonna have to love whoever I love. It's not who you love. You know what I'm saying? That's where like parents and moms get it mixed up. I've dealt with that from her side of the family. You Look, if I got men watching me right now, that's what the fuck you do. You stand up for your girl. You stand up to your mom. You let your mom know, like, this is the woman of my life right now. Respect her or I'm leaving. Or respect her or, like, basically, like, I'm not going to be around like that. Because, like, this is, the one, this is the woman I fuck with. So you should fuck with her, too. Give her a solid chance. And that's what you're supposed to do, Clarence. See, look. look. Like Clarence said, he a good nigga. I believe that he a good nigga. Because what niggas be doing that? Most niggas don't stand up to their mom. Niggas really be mama's boys, and Clarence is a mama's boy, but obviously, he not one of them other mama's boys. He ain't like one of them bad ones. It's kind of like, a, I love my mom, and I respect my mom, but my mom don't run my life, and that's maturity. Choose who- Put some respect on Clarence's name, y'all. You love, you love the, that person because of your love for your daughter. And that's the conversation I had with my mom, too. You know what I'm saying? So I need you to have an open mind because this is the person that I'm, I see myself with. As a mom, you can't do that, but, but respect that. But as she got to know me more and the kind of girl that I was, her love grew for me as well. She loves me now. She loves me. She loves me and she loves both of my kids. My mom would do anything for, for, for any and all three of them. How appreciative she is of me, how I love her son, the way I love her son. She's thankful. I don't, I don't put Clarence, I don't try to put Clarence, I try to be as easy going as possible with Clarence. I can deal with him, I can handle him. I know what kind of man he is. He's a great man, but I know how to deal with Clarence. 
I know how to deal with him, and, and I just, I don't know, I get him, you know? He gets me. She does. She does get so, me. Very difficult person. I don't know. That's Sagittarius just shit, though. That's I, just... That's, that's my side. I you know, feel we're difficult I people. Care. Difficult since he brought it up you know i'll be getting dragged in real life about talking about signs but you know i'm a baby astrologer like real talk like not just me talking out here but sagittarius men are a fucking handful sagittarius men like friendship love if at any moment a sagittarius man feels restricted he gonna flee he gonna start like venturing off and find somebody else as soon as he feel restricted like his freedom is embarked on he is gone like he's not gonna be the same dude you gonna see that beast with a half man half uh half horse or something but you're gonna see the other side that unhuman side that kind of like do you got any remorse like do you have any feelings no feelings is gone like a sagittarius show you real quick i'm gone and also sagittarius is blunt as hell if you ask me that he cheated yeah i cheated like them niggas is a whole different look them niggas they ain't for the week for real for real we don't know what you know I don't know my name. I don't. I don't know shit. Like maybe people won't even believe me. Maybe people still be like, Queen. So she's looking for besties, Truly, as well as people that are like you know, know lovers. But they they need that friendship. Parents, I feel like they need that friendship really foundation. And so we're very genuine. It was genuine. It was nothing. Maybe it started off something different, but it ended up something different, and that's just life, and that just happens. And sometimes you can't help it. And truthfully, who knows? Maybe like even if me and Clarence don't even end up together forever. Things happen. Things happen. And that's what Sagittarius is like to hear. Even if I don't end up with you, I'm still gonna respect you, I'm still gonna love you. They kinda like a, you know what, I don't even wanna cheat no more. That really makes the hoe slip away. Like, they're gonna be like, I'm not a hoe. Like, I don't even, I don't even want a hoe no more. That's all a Sagittarius wanna hear is, I'm not gonna restrict you. You can do what you wanna do, but I know if like, I'm a boss bitch, they kinda like, yeah, I think you is too, I'm not gonna cheat. Right, but it was never to hurt nobody, bro. It was never to, to take anything away from anyone. I'm all for women. Like, I I make women empowerment songs. Like, I make songs about stuff. So, I, the fact that people are saying, oh, you a homewrecker, and how could you do that when you went through the same thing? Y'all just got to understand the place that I was in from my point of view. I wasn't going through her. Like, I, I, I'm not her. She's not me. We, were, we had different, a different view of life at the time. That's what I'm saying. And when people say they were suffering, I felt like Queen was suffering. Like, if you want to call it suffering, like, you know what I'm saying? I've never put my hands on no one. I've never, like, abused anyone. Like, you know what I'm saying? You are such a terrorist. You know your actions and being nonchalant cut deep. You know you're being blunt about whatever you got going on. You just not... A Sagittarius will show you real quick they don't give a fuck. You wanna go tip for tap with a Sagittarius, they will go there with you. But then they will stop. They'll go there with you and then like that then you don't phase them. That shit hurt. And that's exactly what happened with Leslie. Leslie's like, dang, like I'm I mean it to you no more. Bruh, don't put some Sagittarius to not care, because they gonna show your ass that they don't give a fuck. The most I can admit to is I me, I, and I said this already, I just wasn't 100% honest with you, but I just felt like I couldn't be. You know what I'm saying? We're like walking on eggshells. Nigga, Queen taps me and be like, yo, look at her cheeks. Like, look at, look at, look at, look at the children peach walking by. And I, I look and I'd be like, damn, I ain't shit, that fat. Like, that's the kind of relationship we have, and we'll both start laughing. You know what I mean? Like, that's just that I couldn't do that. You know what I mean? I kind of felt like I was more, you know. Restricted shit they don't like. Person, bro. like she is the most genuine person I've ever met in my nobody. life. I don't, I, By I don't far. <laughs> By far. To your noise. Queen doesn't want to, come on here and, want to kill a fucking bug in the, um, in the house. I hope you guys can understand where I was coming from at the time. And we're happy. We have a son together. I don't want him to grow up and see certain things. As a fact. I don't want CJ to grow up and see certain things, but I know he's already starting to read. Um, I'm going to have to explain to him one day, and if Legend sees everything else, you know, he's we're going to have to explain it to him. Man, I don't that has nothing to do with Legend. Legend's not even like care. Bad people. Like, life just happens. Aquarius, don't give a fuck I either. I apologize to anybody that 
may feel like I was moving funny, but I wasn't. I wasn't. It just happened. So, with that being said, I'm going to go back downstairs and get to my interviews. I have a lot of promo to do, mad promo um, for my album. My album is dropping the 30th. 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 Misunderstood. Misunderstood is dropping. Make sure you go pre order that. Too, by the way, I need you guys to listen to the words. Listen to the words. Listen to my words closely because there are things that are revealed in there. You guys, deuces. I probably won't be up back on the channel for a long time. I just came back on here to say my piece or whatever <laughs> and make a bag at the same time because everyone else is making a bag. Yeah, it does. I'm making the biggest oh. bag, baby. I promise. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, man. That was Queen's reaction. You know, um, it's it's a shame that she has to then for get online and defend herself again, man. Again, that's why I always, that's why I stress, man, put some respect on my girl name, man. Y'all don't treat other people like that. And I feel like people treat her like that because of the nice and kind soul that she, that she has. You know what I'm saying? I felt like if she was way more, you know, rowdy and tough and rough and like y'all wouldn't be doing that more. But it's because she's like docile, chill, you know, it's a, you know, it, I guess it bothers y'all. I don't know. But man, I hope every, I hope everybody just, I wish happiness on everybody, man. And everybody in this situation, I hope everybody get better. You know what I'm saying? Me and Queens gonna continue to uh, love on each other and work with each other. Ain't much more to be said. Clarence came and cleared some things up, which I'm glad he did. I've been hyped ever since he said that he faced his mom and told his mom to like basically like respect her, basically treat her a little bit better. Men don't be doing that in real life, so I've been hyped. I've been like kind of like bouncing a little bit. My foot been moving. I'm trying to like keep it calm on the camera, but like ever since he said that, like I got a whole newfound perspective of Clarence. I already thought he was a very respectable guy, but like. You face your mama. Queen knows she's loved. Any girl, any girl knows that they love if you gonna face your mom and be like, hey mom, like that's not cool. Me hearing this video, I would've made a baby like last night. I would've been like, yeah, um, legend number two is coming now or queen number one is coming now. He would've got the cheeks because like, come on now. Dudes do not be standing up to their mom. That was beautiful. Now, as far as the thing about Lee, I felt like, I got new like respect for Lee because I was like I kind of did fall into the hype a little bit about when it was like oh Lee only using Queen for uh you know money just to make her uh, money go up. Apparently she's a solid woman. I mean Lee been showing that because I've seen a uh, birthday video. The birthday video revealed a lot by the way guys. The birthday video was like she was like oh I like you from the beginning. I like you immediately. So it's like a sister can recognize real quick that Queen ain't dramified or ain't overly emotional like the other girl. Queen emotional, but like she not like the catastrophic emotional. Clarence is a solid nigga. He a good ass nigga, like he said, but um, Queen's a good woman, but we already knew that. But it's great that they got that friendship bond, that friendship love, because you want that. Like you want to have somebody that you can just talk to about anything. Like to be walking on eggshells, you're not healthy. You're not, you're not even happy. So it's good that Clarence can be open and honest because only the, he brought it up first. A Sagittarius only wants to do is be honest. They want to be honest. They want to have fun. They want to have good vibes. And if he can have all three with like one girl, why would he need Leslie? Why would he need them other girls who ain't doing nothing but like just giving him cheeks? Cheeks that he could find anywhere, but queen the whole package. And he ain't going to tell no lies. So if he said queen the whole package, she the whole package. And it don't even matter what we think. If in his eyes, she the whole package, she the whole motherfucking package. And that's tea. Thank you for watching my video. Subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment. Meet me in the comments. Let's go ahead and communicate. I'm gonna communicate on the other video. But y'all, I work at nine to five. So I be busy during the day. So I be making these videos at night. I really be like pushing these things out because a girl be tired, but whoop. Anyway, meet me in the comments. I'm going to get back to y'all and subscribe to this channel, share this video, or shoot, just, just leave me some recommendations. I don't even know, but hey, talk to y'all soon.